delightful little sunshines, American goldfinches are very welcome and common at feeders, where they forage on sunflower and niger seeds. People are so fond of them that they are the state bird of three states, New Jersey, Iowa, and Washington. In winter, you'll find them feeding in a frenzied manner before storms. In fact, if you have speckled alder trees near or in your yard, you could also see them prying seeds out of the cones. They may also be in the company of other small finches, such as pine siskins and red poles. Active and acrobatic, they can be seen balancing on the seed heads of thistle and dandelions as well as other plants as they pluck the seeds. Interestingly, these little birds are almost exclusively granivores. Only occasionally do they eat insects. Even the young are fed regurgitated matter mostly made up of seeds, but some arthropods are too, just not very much. One thing about their diet being mostly grain is that when their nest is parasitized by cowbirds, which does happen occasionally, the egg may hatch, but the nestling seldom survives longer than three days because the cowbird chick simply can't survive on the all-seed diet that goldfinches feed their young. During summer, male goldfinches are a vibrant yellow color with a black cap on their forehead and a pink conical bill. They also have black wings with white markings. The females are brighter during the season too, but they lack the prominent black cap and aren't as yellow as males. Outside of the breeding season, males are drab brownish color and don't have the black cap. Juvenile birds are brown above with a pale yellow below. Their wings are dark with two buffy wing bars. American goldfinches measure just 4 to 5 inches long and weigh 11 to 20 grams. That's equivalent to the weight of a compact disc. For such a small bird, it is surprising to learn that the oldest known American goldfinch was almost 11 years old when it was recaptured and re-released during a banding operation in Maryland. These little finches are quite numerous and are estimated by partners in flight to have a breeding population of 42 million, with 91% spending some part of the year in the U.S., 33% in Canada, and 6% wintering in Mexico. Open woodlands are their preferred habitat. Look for them in weedy fields and other overgrown areas, especially those with sunflower, aster, and thistle plants for food. They also frequently hang around in suburbs, parks, and backyards. Other names for the American goldfinch are eastern goldfinch and wild canary. There are many collective nouns used to describe a group of goldfinches too, such as 007, charm, rush, treasury, and vein of goldfinches. Their scientific name is Spinus tristis. Tristis is a Latin word that means sad, and in this use, refers to their alarm call that has a whiny sound to it. The American goldfinch's most common call is its contact call, often given in flight. It sounds like the bird is quietly saying potato chip. These pleasant little birds are not known to be very aggressive. For an example, they do not join in the mobbing of predators like many other songbirds. Also, they do not usually defend a breeding territory for the duration of the nesting season, although male goldfinch may defend a nest site while the female is building one. Otherwise, males tolerate other goldfinches that come into their breeding area. There may be a few little scuffles at the feeders over winter, though, but nothing serious, and for the most part, they seem to feed with each other peacefully. During the breeding season, which is much later than most other North American birds, males perform special flights to attract the attention of females. I've never been lucky enough to witness this, unfortunately, so I have no video to show. The most common is the butterfly, where the male's wing beats are slow and steady. Another is the moth flight, whereby the male hovers using rapid wing beats. Paired up goldfinches make virtually identical flight calls. Other goldfinches may be able to distinguish members of various pairs by these calls. As I mentioned, these finches tend to breed much later. While most birds are already nesting by May, American goldfinches don't start until July or August. With that said, apparently birds in the western part of their range may begin as early as May or June. For the most part though, they breed later in the season and therefore have a short nesting period from July to early September. In the east, the last eggs are laid in mid-August. 
As a result, most pairs have time to produce only one brood in a season. But experienced breeders will produce two broods if eggs are laid early and the first brood is successful. A second nest may be built by the female while the male continues to feed the first brood's fledglings. With such a time constraint due to nesting so late into the season, it makes one wonder why they do that. It seems that there are two main reasons why. One is related to the flowering of their favorite plants, such as thistle. Another theory suggests that the timing of breeding could be linked to the bird's unusual habit of molting its feathers during the breeding season, something that very, very few birds do. They are the only finch that molts its body feathers twice in a year, once in late winter and again in late summer. In this case, it does make sense why they nest later because molting takes time and energy, which would make it extremely hard or impossible to meet the energy demands of nestlings while adult birds are in the middle of growing in new feathers. To many people, the brightening yellow of male goldfinches each spring is one welcome mark of approaching warm months. And of course, as with other colored birds, this bright yellow color of the male comes from carotenoids in plants. When they ingest plant matter, they also ingest the carotenoids that produce the colors in their feathers. Now that it's April, there should be bright yellow goldfinches all around, and although winter is over and most birds are off courting, mating, and building nests, that isn't the case for American goldfinches. Right now is a great time to attract them. You can get a glimpse of the sunshine yellow birds by keeping your feeders stocked well into spring. They will use almost any kind of bird feeder, such as hopper or platform. Even feeders that sway in the wind don't bother these guys. They will also eat seeds that have spilled on the ground below. Best seeds to use are sunflower or niger, as these are their favorite. If you don't want to go the feeder route, try planting native thistles or milkweed in your yard. American goldfinches love the seeds of thistle. Maybe many of you are already doing this, and if so, have you seen male goldfinches changing into that bright yellow color yet? One more thing, did you know that you can provide nest material for them? Like this one shown here that is made up of natural cotton fibers. It seems that the little finches like this stuff a lot. Has anyone provided this before? What was your experience? Comment below and let me know. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Happy birding.